For the past several weeks, Dakota County leaders have been in a debate whether or not to expand their jail. And tonight, a major advancement. County commissioners voted no to hiring a contract manager to oversee that project, of course, delaying it at least for now. KCAU 9 reporter Mallory Smith takes a look at the future of that jail. Mallory, what do you have? Yeah, Tim and Sophie, many residents and Dakota County jail employees have been pushing for this expansion for a number of reasons, saying it would not have only helped the problems inside of the jail, like overcrowding, but also bring more money to the city. Officials have been working to reach an agreement in the debate over the Dakota County jail expansion. More specifically, the decision of hiring a construction manager to oversee the making of the new improvements. We would oversee the project. Uh, bid out uh, certain things of the project and, and get a, a really hard cost uh, on that and the board decided uh, against moving forward. The Dakota County Commissioners voted against hiring a construction manager, a serious roadblock for Sheriff Chris Kleinberg, who has been advocating for this expansion for months. But Commissioner Bob Guy says this is about the second or third time they've come to the decision. Some of the members uh, thought that maybe some input was needed uh, from the public and maybe uh, taking it out to a public vote. But as I said before, the, this is such a unique project that the federal government was behind uh, the funding mechanism for the project. Uh, so there was no input uh, needed. Guy says he doesn't see how the talk of expansion could continue without having a construction manager on board. The construction manager is a key part of the project moving forward. If we don't have that, um, we can't get hard costs on, on what potentially a, this facility would cost. So without a construction manager, I really see no path forward with the jail. Sheriff Chris Kleinberg chose, chose not to appear on camera. However, he told us that if the vote had been approved, the expansion would have granted inmates additional beds and better conditions. Ultimately, it would have pumped more money back into the city. But with the vote being denied, he's worried the county will suffer financially as a whole. Mallory Smith, KCAU 9 News.